Hello and happy Tuesday. I'm Kristen Duran and here's a look at your fast cast digital headlines for August 13th. In today's top story here in South Central, a widespread outage affected tens of thousands for several hours last night. At one point, outage numbers were nearing 50,000. We spoke to Chugach Electric on how the outage happened. Something hit the line north of Chilin substation, tripped off our two generators and then the load shedding occurred and it appears to have impacted just Chugach and Matanuska Electric. Here's a few suggestions to prepare in advance of an outage. Take inventory of what relies on electricity and plan for batteries and other alternatives. Sign up for local alerts and warning systems. Install carbon monoxide detectors with battery backups. Review supplies, including non-perishable food and water. And keep mobile devices and other electric equipment charged and gas tanks full. Crews are slated to resume the search for a Texas family of four later today. David, Mary, and their children, Colton and Brantley Maynard, went missing earlier this month after their boat capsized near Homer. The Alaska Dive Search Rescue and Recovery Team had to postpone its search because of weather conditions. The plan is to use sensitive side scan sonar in waters hundreds of feet deep. The hope is other boats stay away from the area so the equipment can perform at its best. Tonight, the Anchorage Assembly is expected to discuss funding for Anchorage's emergency cold weather shelters for those experiencing homelessness, a measure that would extend the lease for the city's former Solid Waste Services Administrative Building to be used as a homeless shelter and a measure that could change when vehicles can be towed are on the agenda. Possible modifications to the city's landfill are also being considered and appointments to departments, including the Library Advisory Board, are expected. Look for coverage tonight at 10 on Alaska's newsource.com. The U.S. Forest Service has its capital Christmas tree for 2024, and it's a beautiful Sitka spruce from the Tongass National Forest Wrangell Ranger District. Its exact location will remain secret until the harvest. This is the first time the Tongass is providing the U.S. capital tree. The tree was selected from a group of eight and will be harvested in late October. There will be a send-off celebration in Wrangell, a barge trip to Seattle, and then a coast-to-coast -coast whistle stop tour to share the story of what the Forest Service calls the People Street from Alaska's National Forests. Updates on these stories and more can be found right here on alaskasnewsource.com. Have a great day and thanks for watching.